Hello, I'm Kagan. And I'm Kate. And we're going to teach you about nonverbal behaviors in personal and business settings in Italian culture. So first, we're going to start off with the appropriate way to meet and greet others while in Italy. First things first. When being introduced to others during a social or business meeting, you need to shake hands with everyone present. This includes men, women, and even children. Also, make sure to shake hands when leaving. Make sure to keep direct eye contact and to smile. Also, women always extend their hands first to the men when doing handshakes. For first time meetings, a smile and a handshake is sufficient. If in a personal situation and you have a personal relationship already established, you can do the air cheek kisses and you need to start with the left cheek and these are appropriate as well as pats on the back between men. The final factor to be aware of in meetings and greetings in Italy is the idea of Italian style and first impressions. First impressions are huge in Italy as they leave a lasting impression and are extra difficult to overcome later on. Furthermore, Italians are huge into fashion and being well dressed. Make sure to dress elegantly but still conservatively. You will be judged on your clothing, shoes, and the very way you carry yourself with extra vigor in Italy. The idea of bella figura is prevalent in Italian culture. It is the idea of dressing well as well as carrying yourself well and having a good level of confidence, style, and demeanor. Italians are known for using the most body language out of all European nations, so this section is especially important. First and foremost, always keep good eye contact. Don't stare, of course, but keeping good eye contact is important as looking around too often can denote heavy dishonesty to Italians. Locked eye contact does happen and is not as unusual as it would be here in the U.S. Besides eye contact, gestures are huge in Italy. Here are 10 popular ones that you would need to be able to understand if you were to spend an extended time in Italy. Number one, the finger purse. Bunch your fingers together with tips touching and pointing upward. Hold your arm about a foot from your body. You can either hold your hand still or move it up and down at the wrist. This translates to, what do you really want? What do you mean? Number two, prayer. Clasp your palms together with fingers extended and press them in front of the chest as if you were praying. This translates to, I beg you, please, would you do me a favor? Number three, finger kiss. Bring your fingers together and lift your hand to your mouth. Touch your fingers to your lips. Translation, excellent, you deserve a kiss. Number four, chin flick. Bend your arm at the elbow. Your palm and fingers should be facing your body. Bring your hands to your throat and run your fingers lightly upward from your neck past the tip of your chin. This translates to, I don't give up. <laughs> Number five, temple point. Extend your index finger and bring it close to the temple on one side of your head. This translates to, use your head, don't be stupid. Number six, line in the air. Press the thumb and index finger of one hand together and draw a straight horizontal line drawn in the air. Translation, perfect. Number seven, cheek screw. Extend the finger of one hand and corkscrew it into the cheek. Translation, delicious. Number eight, eyelid pull. Using your index finger, tugging at your bottom eyelid. Translation, watch out, pay attention. Number nine, finger cross. Bring the index fingers of both hands together to form an X in front of your mouth. Translation, I swear it. Number 10, circle in the air. With your hand at your side, extend one index finger and trace a small circle in the air. Translation, see you later. The final section we are going to discuss is how to act non-verbally in business settings. 
An important thing to know about Italian culture is that business entertainment is often done at lunch or dinner in a restaurant. So here are 10 important and simple points about Italian dining etiquette. Number one, remain standing until invited to sit. Number two, always take a small amount of food first so that the host can offer you more later. Number three, Italians do not use bread plates. Break your bread and set it next to your plate on the table. Number four, roll pasta with your fork on the side of the plate, not with a spoon. Number five, keep both hands above the table and don't put your elbows on the table either. Number six, table manners are continental, which means your fork in your left hand and your knife in your right. Number seven, Keep your wine glass nearly full if you don't want a refill. Number eight, allow host or hostess to eat first. Number nine, if you invite, you pay. And number 10, don't forget to ask for the check. It is not usually brought automatically. Finally, some basic business interaction advice. Italians take punctuality for business meetings very, very seriously, unlike social settings and make sure to call with an explanation if you are unfortunate enough to be running late. Business cards should be exchanged at first meeting only and handed to everyone at the meeting, but only one per person. When receiving a business card, inspect the name and other information and set it in front of you or inside your briefcase showing it great care. Furthermore, have a two-sided business card in Italian and English for best effect. Establish personal relationships with Italians and also do not be overly somber in your business dealings. Pragmatism and innovation are considered keys to success, so don't be too afraid to not follow the rules or protocols too heavily. Do not use high-pressure sales tactics or try to rush negotiations. It will not go well. This has been just a quick overview into the nonverbal do's and don'ts of Italian culture. This is not at all a comprehensive list, but it's a great start. Buona fortuna e arrivederci.